Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, November 1st. This is going to be my first hunting vlog. Uh, I'm going with my buddy Noah today. He, uh, he's he been up to this place at Milford Lake that he says is going to be a pretty good spot. It's about 35 degrees out right now. And I've got to work on this damn boat. Okay, I think I fixed the problem. The cable in there is a little bit loose. Um, I don't want to fire it up right now because my roommates are sleeping. So once we get to a gas station, I'll try and work on it. Noah just picked up some Mickey D's. Now we're headed north. We got about a 45 minute drive. Yeah, 40, 45 minutes, not too far. Hopefully we get there and the boat works. If it doesn't, it's gonna be a shitty walk. Just now pulling in. We're at the north end of Milford Lake. Uh, about 30, 45 minutes from Manhattan. God, we made that drive pretty quick. Uh, thank God there's no one here. We're gonna drop in. We are two hours until shooting. God dang. We're two hours until shooting light. Um, but we're gonna cruise around, try and get some morning drone shots. Hopefully what I did to the motor earlier gets this deal started. We got it. boat in the water and we got about an hour and 20 minutes till shooting light uh, about a mile long boat ride to a dike from that dike we're gonna walk in because the pool that we're hunting is walk-in only but luckily we can get there by by boat first it was motor problems now we got a way bigger problem the pull cord snapped well, we got it going. It's not running very well. We figured out a problem we didn't know before. It has a sensor on it that when the lower, the, it has a sensor on it for when the oil's low, it'll, it'll, uh, it won't start. And, whoa, just hit ground there. Oh, it's shallow as hell. But anyways, that, uh, that sensor broke off a while back and I totally forgot about it. And, Hooked that sensor back up, scraped the contacts a little bit with a screwdriver, and it fired right up first pull. Ten minutes of shooting line, so we're gonna have to hurry. The sun's just about to come up. Uh, our spot's out there about 100 yards. You can probably see the water. Uh, we're gonna set up the decoys and I'll check back then. There's birds everywhere. Got here about 15 minutes late, saw more ducks than you can imagine. And now shit ain't even been flying. We haven't had anything fly by us. We had pretty good hopes for this hunt, but since it's my first video, I'm still gonna post it. Title Worst Duck Hunt Ever.
migrating mallards working us right now. Just had a group of about 50. So close. We got two out front right now. We're gonna move the spread down a little further, see what happens. There's a bunch of ducks flying around, huge groups of mallards. Hopefully, hopefully we can get them in this time. Get them. Oh my god. Did you forget how to shoot? Yeah, I did. I, I, I did a shovel hand though. on shore now ended up shooting zero ducks uh, we're gonna go scout look around find somewhere this evening there's a ton of birds out here I just think we uh, something about our spread maybe our hide I don't know but uh, we're gonna try and get back out we are gonna get back out this evening and try and knock them down we just pulled into Milford we're gonna try and do an evening hunt out here down there. See a car down there? No, uh, down there? We're gonna try and do an evening hunt out here. There's about, I don't know, two, three thousand mallards sitting on the main pool or on the refuge. We got Pat Noble with us and Alan Clark. I'll put both their Instagrams in the description. We're racing right now to get out there. There's already a couple people out there. I think everybody had the same idea seeing all those ducks out on the the refuge. Hey, right. What do you want? The God. <laughs> it's tough. They both go together? No. They're just tangled up. Pat, give us an update. Well, see, so we had a good group of pintos come in, but me and Yehu over there. We were sitting in the middle of the spread, so we only got one shot off. Had a couple teal scoot by. Other than that, heard a couple shots in the distance. Hopefully we can get a couple here at the end. That was good. Well, got one. Oh, Alan just took a spill. Uh, we uh, got one pintail sprig. Let's see, look at all these. Yeah. Huge group. They're just dumping in everywhere. got done and probably go down as the worst hunt in history. Ended up with one nice pintail. Well, pintail's better than a gadwall. Yeah, pintail's better than anything. Or better than nothing.